Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I apologize for the late start today. I want to explain some stuff before we even get to this topic, because this is a tough topic. This is a tough topic to talk about, and I've been having a lot of issues with this channel, limited uh, flaggings on my videos because YouTube as a platform doesn't want to encourage certain topics. Well, today's topic is going to be limited. I've just, it's going to happen. This video is going to get suppressed. This video is not going to get shared. And these types of topics, I'm usually a little hesitant on because look, I want to get the word out. I want to do my job, but at the same time, I, this job is my, this, this channel is my job. It's my livelihood and I got to be careful. So I'm, I'm asking for your support at the start of this show. I will need your support to cover topics like this because I'm not just making this up or blowing smoke up your butt. Uh, this is a very tough topic to talk about for multiple reasons. One, the subject matter is going to be just awful to go through. It's just heart wrenching to hear this testimony we're going to read through and I'm going to read it right, the right way. I'm not going to keep trying to censor my words or not say certain things that this platform will let us say. We're going to go full uncensored and talk about everything that needs to be talked about about uh, regarding this Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell case. Uh, Gis Ghislaine, I'm still, it's, it's, everyone says it wrong. Uh, we're uh, still going to call her uh, Jizzy. Do we call her Maxie? What we ever, whatever we called her. Um, just so you guys get used to the Maxie, Jeffy when we need to. Um, Maxie for Maxwell, Jeffy for Jeff. Um, but uh, I, I posted two videos this morning that were monetized to try and compensate so I could then start a little later and really get into this case because I, 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 I'm... I don't see enough people talking about this case. It is a incredibly important case. There are people in power that are connected to this case. Uh, and I'll be, I also want to be very clear at the get go. I'm still learning this case. I'm still trying to gather as much information as I can. So my apologies in advance if I'm not as up to date on everything. I've done some research this morning. I've gathered sort of the last few days of testimony and we're going to go through some other people who were there in the room. We're going to read their testimony. We're going to have a little bit of a longer show to really break down what's going on in this case. Why aren't we hearing more? What's all we can. And I also will be taking some calls from you guys. If you are experts, uh, please, if you got information on this case, and you want to help educate me and the audience so we can actually be an outlet that tries to get the word out, please reach out. I just, I want to make sure we're doing facts. I know there's a lot of places that just jump to the conspiracy side of things, which I understand. I do understand why many people are jumping to those extremes. I want to try and be careful and really focus on what we know as facts uh, and get through this case the best we can. Because factually, J Jeffy is a damn monster. Uh, Jeffy did not unalive himself. That's nonsense. And uh, Ghislaine Maxwell is absolutely involved. Absolutely. This idea that she's not is just asinine to me. There's been cover-ups across the board with the most wealthy and important people, and they don't want this story out there. So there is a little bit of worry. We had, we had Christopher Melcher on, and there's a question of, is this whole thing going to be a sham? Uh, and and the, the, the fact that there's a Comey as the lawyer who also repped the person who was in Jeffy's cell. There are so many things that'll make your head spin as to why would you even risk this lack of transparency and everything. Why isn't this court, this trial of all the trials that wherever, why isn't this one being televised to ensure we get it? Because people are being careful. People don't want all the information coming out. It's important that we get the information out. So again, all of that said, with all those caveats, let's try and drudge through this if we can and give you as much of the information as we can. Today, we're going to go uncensored. We are going to be limited. It's going to be triggering. I, we're going to use some language and some terms that may not be, uh, you know, you may not want to hear, uh, but I want to put the warning out all together, knowing that this video will likely be suppressed because YouTube does not support videos. They can't put their ads on is really what it comes down to. So when us creators ask for your help and uh, the stigma that we as creators can't get paid by you, the audience is just asinine. I will continue to report everything I can. And I'm so grateful for all your support as you guys step up and support this channel with me directly. There's a pinned comment there. In fact, there's a link tree link in all my descriptions and all my videos. And I'll make sure it's on the pinned comment later. You can always support me anytime by clicking on those links, cash app, uh, stream elements link. Those go more directly to me. You can also super chat, but Google takes a huge chunk. So if you want to not pay Google and you want to pay me directly, use one of those other methods that's pinned in the comment. Uh, all that said, all my ads and everything out of the way, let's get to this, shall we? So thanks again for your support. 
And I will be pausing throughout the stream to thank your support. So if you want your comments on air and you want to also support what we're doing here and specifically coverage of this trial, thank you guys for throwing some uh, coins in the jar. Think of it as a two drink minimum. It's what you do at any show is always what I tell my audience. Uh, so thank you right out the gate. Uh, you guys stepping up because because you, you know this is sort of a challenging one. Rocky just became a member. Thank you, Rocky. Young Yoda, good to see you. Thank you for the Super Chat sticker. MM Super Chat sticker. Connie Carter, thank you for the Super Chat sticker. And Ronnie K, thank you for continuing Continue to cover these tough cases. I tune in every day. Ronnie, thank you for that generous $20 tip. Helps a lot. And then Randy Richardson also became a member. Thank you so much for joining. And it's Kim also dropping a couple uh, dollars in the jar. Thank you, Andy. The coverage for this is incredibly important. Wish I could give you more. Much love. But that's all. Just like. If you can't give, I get it. Share it. Get, it the, get the word out there. We need more outlets to cover it. I'm not as adverse, as adverse in this case as I wish I was, but I figured, you know what, Andy? You know enough. You can read a lot here. Let's educate your audience. Let's do some good because not enough people are covering this case because they're all afraid to. And this case is massive, guys. So let's let's pause because we're going to talk about this for a while. And I'm just going to, it's going to be a longer video. It is what it is. I may trim at some point later once we get to more of the facts, but bear with me. Uh, if in fact, Gene or if anybody, you want to help me get time codes that actually, this would be a good video to help me keep time codes, the intro. And now we're going to get into sort of overview of the case. And then we'll talk about day one, et cetera. But Gene, starting from the beginning, uh, let's time code this video. So that way you guys can see the chapters and zoom ahead. If you'd like to skip ahead through ports, uh, portions of the show, we'll also take some calls. If you are an expert, please call in again. I want to, I want to try and cover this case. I don't know if I can do it daily because I don't think my channel and the algorithm can handle it. However, with your support, I it, it sort of tips the scale. So Google's like, okay, well, he made a lot of money on this one. All right, he got some views on this one. All right, whatever, I guess. It's a weird thing. Uh, but again, just, just so you understand this threat, like so you don't think I'm just making this up. Like I, I want to be very clear here as I, as I showed it here. This tracker trial, which is what I was been following on Twitter, uh, they had half a million followers and they were out there really focused on it. Now I, I wasn't, sometimes there was everything truthful. I, I don't good questions. However, they were out there sharing information about this case and now uh, they have to go to their dummy account because trial tracker is now suspended. Twitter has now that huge account that's been reporting on this case, suddenly account removed. I can't afford for that to happen here, so I'm not going to go in and wade into too many of the controversial stuff, the, the conspiracy theories. However, this is a legit concern that us creators have because we can't afford this to happen to our channels. And for Twitter to pull this, it'd be really nice to see Twitter like explain why when they pull this, because I can't tell, is, tri is Tracker Trial actually being censored and something really happened, or did they spread mistruths that they should have been more careful about? We, as the audience who want to be actual careful viewers and actually get information, we have no idea. So I, I can't help but think they're censoring this account because they don't give us any transparency. None of these platforms do. When they limit our videos, they give us the vaguest answers as to why. And when I just to I quickly explain limiting videos, when we post a video on YouTube, you get a stamp like a money sign. It's either green means go, yellow means it's limited, meaning we can't advertise. Not all advertisers are going to be comfortable with the content of this video. As a creator, we have a self-review check where we sort of tell them, yes, there's fleeting comments of this, and there's mentions of guns or sensitive or controversial. It's a lot of sex, you know, mild language. You can usually get away with a lot given the guidelines. However, sometimes you walk that line, and if we talk about pedophilia, things like that. Boom, I'm already, now I'm gone. If we talk about anything like that, even just talking about it in the legal term sense, boom, gone, sponsors can't be there. So they stamp this limited video on you. Now, it's not about making money on the video. Everyone sort of always says that. It's about reach. If Google's not making money on the video, do you think they're sharing my limited video more than they're sharing Jimmy Fallon playing some stupid game with Ariana Grande? Hell no. Hell no. They want ads. They want to, they want to share content that they know is going to be ad friendly and is going to get the maximum amount of eyeballs. So when we report cases like this, it doesn't get as much reach unless it really does go viral and you guys demand it. So please get the word out there. Let's keep this going. Again, I'm not dropping massive bombshells here, but I know a lot of people aren't up to date on this case, and I figured the least we can do is update you on this case. So let's get to it, shall we? All right. So I want to jump on the most recent testimony because as I was reading it, it really sort of triggered me to want to get in there. Uh, but sorry, I, I've jumped ahead. Who's Jeffrey Epstein? Who's Ghislaine Maxwell? Let's talk about that for a second. He is a, I, and again, I'm now a little bit of ignorance here, but just this guy was a very rich socialite businessman. 
And he managed to claw his hands into a lot of famous people. A lot of famous people, a lot of organizations, charitable organizations, et cetera. He, uh, there's a really good Netflix documentary, which is where I'm getting more of my intel as well as some of the stuff I've read. This was a, he was a very wealthy businessman that still like, was, was able to sort of con people and trick people and like move things around and sort of become this wealthy guy who sort of came into money, moved around, networked with other p- rich, famous people, and then sort of fell into the world of all the, social, the, the rich social elite. And this guy was, was parading around with everybody. Anybody who's at everybody, this guy was parading around with. This guy was like best friends with Bill Gates. Bill Gates is now trying to deny that. We're going to play that clip in a minute. Uh, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump. This guy was everywhere. And then, you know, higher up business people. Now, where things got crazy and disgusting is the fact that Jeffrey Epstein had this island. He had an island and he had a plane that they had dubbed the Lolita Express. And this plane would take a lot of famous people to his private island. And on this private island, there have been allegations, which, sorry, doesn't seem like allegations anymore, but I got to be careful here legally. Allegations of underage girls, not women. The news tends to always do that. Underage women. No, 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 no. These were girls. These were young girls who were transported to this island, given lots of money and 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 things to sort of be there to start usually with massages and then lead to sex. Underage girls on this private island that his help, a lot of these people have come forward and explained some of this information. A lot of the victims, the girls themselves have grown up and come forward. Uh, This was a island of debauchery that the rich social elite would fly to to have sex with underage girls and do, do a horrific, you know, terrible things that, you know, rich people i guess do there, there, we've had this discussion a lot on the channel it's like there's a level of celebrity and power where i feel like porn isn't enough and for some of these really rich fucked up people they need like the next level the next level and and, and, and some people out there i'm sure you know what i'm talking about a little bit where it's like you get you start watching missionary and then suddenly you need something extreme dude the world's effed up across the world i think pornography has gotten too extreme and effed up so many of us have are effed up in the head but not to the extent of Jeffrey Epstein, when you, have, when you have no one who can say no to you, and instead of like, all right, I'm going to watch this weird scenario on a, on a, on a consensually, but acted out weird scenario on an adult site. Imagine now someone who has like, who can afford to act that out. And then that's not enough. And then they're like, all right, well, I can do this. Imagine somebody who has unlimited power and resources, who's constantly trying to one-up their sex drive and their sort of, their, their, their kink meter, whatever it is. It's to the point where they have no moral compass and they're going to start breaking laws and then they're going to start abusing children that's that's sort of how this in my opinion how this all netted out with a lot of these famous people of they just have no way to say no they have no way no one to say so to stop it they they're like the the point of like you know because i i'm trying to relate it to something we know where it's like i think there's a there's a, a point where sometimes people like to be like naughty in the bedroom but celebrities they, they're like a hundred million levels past that because no one is there to stop them because they just pay them off. And then they have other rich people to cover it up. And it gets to the point where they're not just doing weird shit in the bedroom. They're fucking kids. That's not just a crime. Like that's, that's worth a, like you're, you go to hell <laughs> like, and live there. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't want them just to die. I want them to suffer, go to jail, et cetera. Like, but I'm trying to like put it in a pretense of like celebrities have no qualms. They want to kick up their kink meter, but they have no one who keeps them in check. And so these celebrities, which I genuinely believe are out there. I, I do. I know there's a lot of you know, conspiracies about Pizzagate and all these things and Tom Hanks and all this stuff. But these celebrities now have, I feel like, have so much power and resources, they're getting away with shit, and then they're just paying it off, and they're doing it. So, all of that said, Jeffrey Epstein was one of the leaders, allegedly. Allegedly, that's what this trial's about. He's no longer with us. We'll talk about that in a second. He allegedly was the one who was sort of helping these celebrities get these illegal, disgusting acts to happen. Sort of getting there like, oh, I need something better. I need something kinkier. Great. Well, how about you come to my island and get a massage? Oh, yeah. How, by the way, how about an underage girl? Oh, yeah. You want to be with the underage girl? That's, everything seems to sort of lead into these things where these disgusting, disgusting people are just constantly like, yeah, oh, yeah. Give me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, give me this. 
just completely no more because again no morality check nothing they've been already hit the levels that any regular people can do legally no no let's start going to the crazy you know private island on a jet with these humanly human trafficked women and girls uh and just have whatever we want with them and then we'll sh we'll throw them off and no one will believe them because we'll say they're drug addicts and everything else even though we've fueled that habit and everything else that's happened it it's 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 sickening it's sickening so that's what Je jeffrey epstein is accused of jeffrey epstein was they tried to get him numerous times there was a lot of shady shit a lot of cover-ups if you watch the netflix documentary especially there's some insanely frustrating cover-ups as to sort of what allowed him to keep going and then as he was sort of charged with these extreme crimes including trafficking and underage girls he was back out there and hobnobbing with the likes of bill clinton bill gates etc who were still sort of like dealing with oh those were just accusations that's not there that's not a thing whatever and so jeffrey epstein continued his wave of terror and so throughout the whole process the question is how involved was Ghislaine jizzy Giz Maxie, whatever you want to call her. How involved was Ghislaine Maxwell? Well, it's interesting because as we're starting to break things down, uh, uh, she, clearly very involved. Clearly very involved because we, we now have new images that were dropped today of here she is on the private jet constantly rubbing Jeffrey's feet, being there. Uh, I mean, it's just, again, uh, she's in there constantly, every step of the way. All throughout the way, she was there as his number two. She seemed to be like someone who got off from the power trip that Jeffrey had and being the one in the know. Do you know what I mean? Like she knew that he was telling him everything and she had the keys to the castle of the most powerful man who was doing the most effed up shit, in my opinion. Again, this is my opinion. Everything, let's just, can we say you're out the gate? This is all my opinion. Go do your own homework and don't take anything here as factual today. We're just, we're talking an opinion because I got to protect my ass. So don't listen to what I'm saying. You, you, you get me? <laughs> uh, but Ghislaine was out there every step of the way with this man, K leveling up his kinks, his porn meter, taking it to the point where it just became illegal criminal acts and pedophilia. That's where this ultimately netted out. And so this idea that she wasn't involved and she didn't know, that's the big question as to what we're doing. Because sadly, after they finally did get Jeffrey Epstein and they charged him, he miraculously, uh, you know, he somehow got away with it. The camera in his cell turned off and the other camera, the, the, the memory wiped. And we don't have any evidence of what happened. Just to happen, that's just a coincidence. But he hung himself in prison. After previously been attacked before, Jeffrey just magically hung himself without any evidence of it. That's what they want you to believe. Do you believe that? Because I don't. I don't believe that. This man had made way too many enemies. This man had invited way too many people on that island, on the Lolita Express, that here he is getting foot rubs on of Ghislaine. This now, now the, the defense to Maxwell is, well, you know, they don't have Jeffrey, so all they have is her, and that's what they're going to do. They're, gonna, they're coming after her because they can't get to Jeffrey. And so they're hoping to sort of, I, I imagine, like, give some slap on the wrist to, like, move it. But the reality is, no, to me, Maxwell is equally, if not, I mean, it's, it's hard to say who's worse, but Maxwell is absolutely equally responsible. Because where, as we on, on, go through the testimony that we're about to do now, for time code's sake, for thanks for helping me, Gene, the, the witnesses are coming forward saying she was the one who was orchestrating it all. She was the one who was making these, these girls. I, I got it. It's, it's even hard. These girls. Say it with me, guys. Don't say women. And if you see someone saying women, correct them. These girls. She was the one who was finding and securing these girls for Jeffrey. I mean... There's a special place in hell for those types of people. That's literally the worst of the worst for me. I can't even imagine that, taking that to a, doing that to a child. And they were doing it constantly to young women, young, to girls, to kids, to kids. Let's call it what it is. They're kids. 14 is still a kid. 14 is a kid. And they are children. Kids, children, call them what they are. Girls, these are not women. These are not young women. These are kids. These are children. Say it with me because I don't get to say this very often on this platform. They won't let us tell you this. They won't let us warn you that this is why this case is so important because he, she was trafficking children. 
She was trafficking children to her disgusting partner so he could get his offs because porn wasn't, it wasn't hot to him anymore because he had the power and resources to just be like, I can do anything. It is, it is sickening. It's sickening. So where this case is even more important is who was involved? Who was on this island? Who had access? Prince Andrew's come up a lot. Donald Trump, Bill Clinton. There's a lot of debates as to who was actually there. A lot of people have been very clear, like, well, actually, Donald Trump kicked him out. Donald Trump actually wasn't as involved. Meanwhile, Bill Clinton, which most people aren't talking about him as much as they do, they always try to connect Trump. And look, I, don't, I wasn't there. I know Trump was involved. There's a lot of photos and there was a lot of creepy sort of comments about him. But there is apparently in the documentary, the people involved, the, the deputies, et cetera, say the only person who came forward and gave help for, to evidence and to sort of talk about Jeffrey was Donald Trump. So take that as you will. Meanwhile, the Clintons, radio silence, nothing. Meanwhile, he was on the plane. Can someone in the chat help me? He was on the plane. Clinton, Bill Clinton was on that plane countless times. And also witnesses saw him on the island where this island, a lot of shady shit. That's where the women were giving their massages, guys. Clinton was there constantly. So I, I'm not a Trump fan. I, you guys, for those who watch me, you know, but I, I, I hate when we generalize all conservatives as one way or I, I won't have it on this channel. We got to be fair. I'm not a fan of the extreme liberals. I'm not a fan of the extreme conservatives. I'm, I'm, I've become much more in the center, but we got to learn to respect each other in our politics and be fair about it. And at the end of the day, while I'm not a fan of Trump and doing the homework, to me, Clinton is more guilty than Trump, as more and more I've looked. Trump is the only one who came forward and spoke. Trump is the only one who kicked him out of Mar-a-Lago when there was some incident that happened. This is all on record. I got nothing from Clinton. I've got nothing from Clinton. So while I'm not saying Trump's, you know, scot-free. I don't know. I wasn't there. But I'm just saying at least Trump has made some efforts, which got, I, I rarely give the man ever any credit. But in this case, I got to I got to call for what it is. That's why I, 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 I promise you guys that I will always do that. Even though I don't like the man, he's come forward. Bill Clinton has not. So Bill Clinton, in my eyes, should be. I don't know why we aren't harassing him more to be like, dude, what's going on? What's going on? And Bill Gates. That's another one. We're going to get to that in a second. All right. So there, there's so much to break down. So sorry for my passion, but I'm just like, I never get to talk about all these topics. And, uh, and, and somebody else, um, there's pictures of Clinton on the plane on the island. C correct. Um, but again, this isn't politics. Bill Clinton. Not, I don't think Hillary was there, guys. Uh, this isn't about politics. This is about corruption and pedophil pedophilia. This is about rich, powerful people sleeping with underage girls, children. That's what this case is ultimately about. So why are we talking about this? This is a case where the powerful celebrities were involved in potentially doing that. There was a little black book that had all the information where the man in charge of it all is unalive magically by somehow while the cameras are off. And, and we don't get to have cameras in this courtroom to figure out well, what the fuck's going on. And then the, the lawyer who's, who's, who's repping, who's, who's doing this case against Maxwell it also repped the one who was inside the cell with Jeffrey. Uh, thank you, a rare zebra. Ghislaine attended Chelsea's wedding. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Heather says she was actively behind closed doors with he and girls. Kristen Grove, thank you so much. I, I sent him over. I will always get there. Um, MMs, thank you again for that. Uh, Anonymous from Pip Arrow UK. Thank you, Pip Arrow. FK, you also became a member. Thank you so much for uh, joining. You guys can hit the join button. And that way you support us directly. I really appreciate your support here. Uh, and then Jen, Jen McMahon, this is for Andy, not to blow smoke up our butts. LOL, kidding in all seriousness. Andy never does anything like that. He is truthful and honest, and Andy is a good and thorough reporter. Thank you, Jen. I'm trying my best here. Bad Wolf 84 thanks for all that you do. Been watching all day since the Gabby stuff started and value what you bring and deliver. You rock, Andy. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Andy. This coverage is incredibly important. Wish I could give more. Thank you again to everybody who's been donating. I will keep breaking back in. Uh, as we get there but thank you for the support and then rare zebra yes the, the connections of these people Ghislaine Jeffrey and where they've been and what they've done is sickening and, and terrifying so we deserve more we deserve more transparency in what's going on in this case so all right that I, I I've summed up I, I the best of my ability is there's much more to this as you guys go down wormholes and learn about it in fact you can watch that Netflix documentary it's, it's, there's you know it's it's better you'll get a, a better gauge of what's going on uh but look that up a jeffrey epstein documentary on there um and then people are also saying trump never went to the island there's no record of trump being on the island that is that is correct 
but we have testimony of Clinton being on the island. Um, now, I will say there is a log list of a lot of people who went to this island or that were on the uh, Lolita Express. That doesn't necessarily mean they were on the island, guys. In my opinion, of everything I've looked at, there, there's a, such a quick judgment. Pizzagate, which is this whole conspiracy theory that I don't support at all. That Tom Hanks and everybody in the, in, the, in the Hollywood elite are all pedophiles and there's an underground ring under some pizza parlor in New York, blah, blah. It's complete nonsense, guys. That is complete nonsense. Now, do I believe there are other celebrities who are doing shady shit behind the scenes? Yes. I, I do believe that's possible. Do I believe all celebrities, including Tom Hanks, are doing that? No, I don't. I don't believe Tom Hanks is. Why do you go to Greece? All lies. Everyone, I, I did a whole video sort of mocking things about it. We, we got to be careful because... Shit like that really just muddies the waters and makes the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing seem like a conspiracy theory. And I think it's so imperative that we focus on the Prince Andrews, the Bill Clintons, the real ones, and then move from there rather than constantly assume that anybody who was on that plane was part of this. Because the reality is Jeffrey Epstein was clever. He was a really smart guy in the worst ways because he was able to get away with so much and trick so many people. But he was very quick to connect himself with as many rich celebrities as possible because when he was seen with a George Clooney or seen with a Bill Clinton or seen with a Bill Gates, it made him seem more powerful. It made more people feel comfortable. You know what I mean? And so uh, when that when he's around and, and, and gives, you know, there's a few people like Kevin Spacey, he seems like he did some shady stuff in there. However, there were some other like celebrities that were literally like going to charity events in Africa and he would sort of volunteer the plane. And it felt like a very tricky thing that Jeffrey was doing where it's like he would sort of do normal trips with famous people, but then he'd also do some shady trips with, with, with famous people to try to justify what he was doing so he could get away with it. And so I, I don't jump immediately to, to say everybody on that uh, fl flight list is was sleeping with kids i just i i can't i have no proof of that and i don't believe that's as as truthful however it's frustrating just because we don't know because no one's come forward and helped us understand all right well who was going where and who was doing what we don't we don't know so it's left a lot of people to make assumptions do experience conspiracy theories etc so all right so that's where we stand on sort of the overview i hope that helps give you a, an overview for those of you who've been watching and don't understand what this case is about and i'm sure i missed some stuff so i apologize i'll try and look at these comments send them over and i will make sure to add more um and if you guys have suggestions for other things i should be suggesting to people to watch to get more deep dives please let me know i just i wanted to give a, a broadest point of view of the, the top line events so you understand what this what's at stake here and what most people are talking about and thank you inverted earth thank you so much for becoming a member again hit that join button you guys will be supporting to become part of the planeteers you can always catch our uncensored full streams we usually stream every afternoon around 12 30 p.m and then i'll trim the main event the main topic the main story that's in the thumbnail it'll trim later so i keep all the views and we get a sort of a more shareable video but the full three-hour conversation gets uploaded to our members only portion on the main page it's a playlist on the main page and sometimes we will talk about some of the stuff that gets censored on those longer shows so if you want to become a member and join thanks to those who did and in fact, really quickly, thanks to Inverted Earth, and thank you, Tamara Homan. Uh, both of you, welcome to the, to the Popcorn Planeteer families. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here. All right, so chapter two, or whatever, I don't know, I'm losing track. Let, let's get to the testimony, okay? Because this is the most recent news today, now that I've given you all that. I want to get to sort of now some of the accusations that are coming in from this. And I have a few things I want to go through. We got, I, this testimony just re wrecked me, and it was also the clearest connection to Maxwell. Accuser for Ghislaine Maxwell assess assessed her body for Epstein when she was 14. Now again, warning, I'm reading an NBC News article. This is news about a trial. I expect this video to be limited, but I hope it's not pulled for any reason because I'm not doing anything against the guidelines. It's just not going to be advertiser friendly. I get it. But also anybody who doesn't want to read this graphic stuff, warning, I tend to sort of avoid these types of things, but not today because I think it's important you actually hear What's happening in this courtroom? She came in and felt my boobs and my hips and my buttocks, and I said, and said I had a great body for Mr. Epstein and his friends, said the woman being identified as Carolyn. Uh, one of the women who says she was a minor when she started having sex with Jeffrey testified Tuesday, this was yesterday, uh, that Maxwell personally inspected her body. She came in, felt, uh, uh, here it is. Carolyn initially said she was 14 and later said she was 13 when she was introduced to Maxwell. That's sick. Uh, 
Uh, she was introduced by Virginia Roberts, who, who uh, another woman who says the couple sexually abused them and trafficked her. We were going to her friend's house on Palm Beach Island, and we were going to meet one of our one of her wealthy friends, and I was going to give a massage. Carolyn told the court. Um, once they were there, Carolyn and uh, stripped her of her clothes. Uh, this is the other person, uh, Virginia. Stripped her of her clothes while she remained in her bra and panties, and they both began massaging Epstein. 45 minutes later, Carolyn said Epstein turned over and began having sex with uh, Giffery. I was sitting on the couch right in front of them. Caroline said she went back over 100 times to Epstein's mansion where she had sex with him and sometimes with other women, another, with another woman, like other women that were coming in. She said she also posed nude for photos. Maxwell would call and set up the appointment times. Asked by assistant attorney Maureen Cooper why she kept going back, Caroline answered, because I needed the money. Weeping at times, Carolyn said she stopped visiting the mansion after she had a baby in March 2004. She said when she tried to go back, she was rejected because I became too old. I was 18. Maxwell, 59, is accused of helping Epstein recruit and sexually abuse uh, four underage girls, mostly in the era of the 1990s. She has pleaded not guilty to all six charges. Her defense team contends she was being prosecuted because the government cannot go after Epstein, a convicted sex offender who hung, hung himself in New York City jail two years ago as he awaited trial of sex trafficking charges. Uh, Giffery, who says who, who she says, too, was underage when she started having sex with Epstein and his friends, is not one of the four women Maxwell is charged with. Uh, on Monday, Kate, the pseudonym for a model and musician who said she was lured into giving Epstein massages when she was 17, told the court that uh, during one such encounter, when she recalls being about 18, she was pressured into wearing a schoolgirl outfit. Kate was then uh, was from a well-off family. Uh, Carolyn said that she and her brothers were becoming raised by an alcohol and drug addicted mother and that she was allowed to do whatever I wanted. She said she had a, she said I uh, she said a lot of the money Epstein paid her went for the drugs, marijuana, cocaine, alcohol, anything that could block out the appointment with Epstein. Later on cross examination, Caroline admitted that she had been arrested once for possession of cocaine another time for pawning an Xbox. She admitted that she worked for a time for an escort service. Why, look, I, 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 pausing for a moment. All this bugs me to no end. They're like trying to like victim blame this, these teenagers, these children who were tricked into this weird sex drug field, you know, fantasy sequence for these rich billionaires and then get, you know, fucked up in the head and then become reliant on sort of the, the oh, I don't know any better because they're fucking kids. And then they are introduced to drugs and all these and these disgusting scenarios. And then the cross examination is like, oh, so you're a drug addict. Oh, and you're a hooker. Oh, interesting. So did you just, did you want it? Like, fuck you. Like, I, how does someone sleep at night doing this in a trial in a court of law? Oh, so you're a slut. You're a slut. That's why you did it. That's why you fucked them when you were 14, because you're a slut who didn't know any better. Got it. And you're a drug addict, I know now. So is that, is that why you, you, were, you were doing it? What the fuck is this questioning? What the fuck? And then this is how the news covers it. Are you, are you paying attention? These were fucking 14-year-olds. This couple was abusing 14 year olds and the news and the media don't want us to have these conversations because we can't talk. Well, they were sluts. They were drug addicts. They asked for it. These two scumbag monsters were looking for vulnerable children to exploit. So yeah, I'm getting hot and heavy because I, I never get to talk about it. And it's, and it's so goddamn frustrating because we can't, I can't tell you this on a regular video. I can't monetize and get and YouTube to share out this video. So you wonder why no one's reporting on this case. 14-year-old kids sexually abused, vulnerable children sexually abused by these billionaire monsters to get their whittles off. It is fucking sickening. And the defense ex excuse is, oh, well, so, you know, you're, you're, you sound like a bit of a whore. And you have a cocaine problem, huh? Can we trust your testimony? Like, this is fucked up. And you wonder why women don't come forward. Why women don't want to go and do this and face their accusers. And in NBC News, uh, let's, let's, print, let's not print all the sick shit. Let's print the fact that they're drug addicts and, and, and hookers and strippers. Let's just make them, let's, let's write them off as strippers because, hey, they should have known better. Hey, kid, why didn't you know better? Because they're 14. Because they're fucking 14. So anybody in this chat or anybody else who's trying to fucking play this game and the victim blaming of, these are fucking kids. These aren't even 18-year-olds. 
We can't be like, oh, well, it's an 18 year old. She got, she's, she wasn't sure, and she got drunk at a party. Uh, 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 uh. This girl's got four more years of childdom to protect her, and we failed her, and this court system's failing her. So I don't want to hear any fucking political, fucking sexist bullshit about this. This is victim shaming. This is corruption. This is a whole world of people. And, and I got to say, a lot of us men who are just so fucking disgusting and clueless to the realities of the world and what these poor, these poor vulnerable girls, kids, I'm trying to get in my head, kids were exploited by these two monsters. And the news will tell you, well, she's a drug addict. She's a drug addict. She's a stripper. Uh, you stole an Xbox once? Yeah, I wonder how, how did she get fucked in the head, across uh, to attorney? How do you think, what do you think fucked this girl up in the head? Could it have been the countless times she was sexually abused by this billionaire man who was forcing her to do shit because she was desperate for cash and clearly wasn't, didn't have good parents or something? Who knows what the excuses were? But she went down a bad path, which sometimes kids max only do. That's what we are there as fucking grown-ups and adults and parents to protect our kids. And instead, we got to cross-examine. Oh, so you're a drug addict, and you're, you're a stripper, and you're blah, 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 blah. How the fuck is any of that relevant? How is that any relevant? <sighs> she had to admit she was arrested for... Po and and she's a, she had to admit she was an escort where she took money for sex. She also admitted it. So therefore, this woman, this now woman, clearly is a liar. She must have asked for it when she was 14. How sick is this? How sick is this? This is how the media is covering the story. Well, you know, it's, it should be noted that this 14-year-old this who was molested and abused by two disgusting sickos, well, now she's fucked up and she's an escort. Because for four years, she got groomed and abused into fucking people. And now she's doing it for money. And, uh, well, she should know better now. Can you imagine having to be the lawyer who's, like, sitting there, like, literally uh, do, having to ask those questions to these, to these now women who are abused as girls? And that's your job. Like, I, I, I just can't even fathom... I know everybody gets due process, but to be, to have the mindset to go and have to attack these now women and call them sluts, drag addicts, liar, I, I just can't, I can't even begin to fathom how someone can do that. It is just beyond me. It's beyond me. But hey, hey, there you go. And thank you, chat. I see the preaching. I see it all. Yeah. And thank you. Children cannot give consent. Let's, let's, let's remind everybody. Let's remind that. Facts. <sighs> Brooke Dyer, thank you for covering this. Well, thank you for supporting this because honestly, I can't do these types of reports without your coverage and your support. This, this shit literally... Guys, I, again, <laughs> I'm not begging for money. I'm not trying to grift you here. I'm, I want to report this story, but I'm terrified. I'm terrified that my platform will get shut down. That I will be censored. That I will suddenly get some deemed stamp and all my coverage will now be limited and hidden because i decided to be honest about this case so i'm terrified of it that's why we always work towards you you are the bosses so if you continue to support this well fuck youtube we can keep sharing the videos you'll support it directly i don't need anything so everybody who's donating today on this stream you are a boss and you are keeping this story alive and i'm thank you because i'm, I'm going out on a limb risking it all to, to do this because it's the right thing to do it's the right thing to do. So uh, thank you to everybody who steps up. Brooke, thank you. Shelby, thank you for thanking me, but thank you, Brooke and Shelby. Yvonne, thank you so much as well. And then Michelle Hornbacher, thank you for covering this case. Thank you guys all so much for supporting. Um, and then Anonymous, a YouTube lawyer called Good Logic, has attended the Maxwell trial every day and provides multiple daily updates. YouTube keeps deleting his subscribers. Good Logic, Logic. Please, somebody connect him with me. Please, somebody connect with me because I'm, I'm very curious how this case and this video will I'm very curious to see what happens with this video because I'm not hiding I'm not holding back as you've noticed I'm not pulling any punches on this one I'm saying the word pedophile I'm saying sexual abuse I'm saying that these kids were abused it's, it's time to, to put all that out there because we have to 
this case is too important and it's and these platforms censor us and prohibit us from being honest you guys actually get the disgusting truth to uh, rile us all up to pay more attention so thanks everybody supporting and thanks to steph wait where'd you go well i had you here Hello? and now i lost you oh wait, hold on steph's I coming Did i, I think i'm here on this earth are you here hold on <clears throat> you're coming back i may have gone to mars Hello. <laughs> there she is. Hi, hey, everyone. Hey, Steph. Hey, up. How do? Uh, yeah, well, I'm unhinged, man. I'm going scorched earth on this one, finally. Andy, thank I've you for I've covering been this KC rock. Thank you, Joey Lilly. Thank you for the supporters. You guys stepping up. They've stepped up. They're starting to step up. They they get the... Steph, you can back up. We, we talked about this privately, and I'll get back to the... There's more testimony we're going to get through, but this is sort mm. of, I guess, an ad break, if you will. Uh, <laughs> Steph, we talked about this prior. Like, this is a tough one to talk about. The YouTube platform is already struggling. It, it's 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 pummeling us <laughs> pretty hard right now. Yeah. And the timing yeah. is probably isn't wise. But I was like, you know what? I dropped those two first videos. Let's see if that feeds the beast, and let's see if the audience will support this one and share it and support so we can get away with this once in a while. But you can sort of. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think? Do you think I'm making a risk here? Um. Yes, <laughs> because, well, I mean, I've, you know, we, we've discussed this, so I ain't going to be telling you anything new uh, and I'm not probably not going to say anything that you don't already know. Uh, however, when it comes to Jeffrey Epstein, when it comes to Ghislaine Maxwell, one thing that you guys have to understand out there is that when we're talking about these people, these evil, despicable people, um, we're not just going against them. Guys, we're going against the establishment. We are going against the machine. Because I tell you, Summer, the establishment, very, very powerful interests and people in the establishment do not want us to talk about this case. They do not want the secrets to come out. They do not want this trial to be widely reported. They want it just swept under the carpet as much as possible. Because at the end of the day, you might think when it comes, when it, when it looks on the surface, that it's just Ghislaine that's on trial here. I'll tell you Summer, it ain't. She could destroy and drag down so many freaking powerful people. It is untrue. So guess what? Those powerful people, guy, my conspiracy, my opinion, my theory, my whatever... I think we'll be leaning on YouTube right now and be like, anyone talking about Jeffrey Epstein, anyone talking about Ghislaine Maxwell, <clears throat> censor, 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 restrict, 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 restrict. But do you know what? Guess what? Fuck the establishment. Fuck the machine and all those powerful, disgusting people. What you guys can do to combat them and beat them is... Pretty much three things. Like this video. The 781 likes is over 2,000 you're watching right now. I want to see 1,500 likes in the next five minutes. Let's beat the establishment. Let's kick them up their ass. Because more likes on this video means it's going to get wildly more shared. Oh, my goodness. See, we, you guys, you're, you're funding, the, you're funding it. I can't tell you anything else aside from a thank you. Because Lisa S., Thank you. Just drop fifty dollars. Uh, that's yes. that'll do it, guys. The more you do it, the more it'll show the establishment. Boop boop boop. <laughs> because you got you got yes. to sort of inspire us to make sure that we are feeling like, all right, yep, let's put it out there. Because it, as as Steph said, it's legitimate. I'm not just saying this. I hate to feel like yeah. a mask, but it, I, I want to be. I, I promise transparency. And when I do this coverage, if you guys step up too, I assure you, I will keep the coverage coming because we're rolling the dice on this one. It's not it's not bullshit. Uh, uh, because we're, Come on, already, guys. we're already feeling the, the pressure on literally videos that should feel no pressure, Steph. <laughs> it's yeah. like it's very yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. weird. 
Uh, and so and when I'm covering like the uh, uh, what's the kid's name now? I'm, I'm, uh, the parents who are like I've literally had those videos have been stuck in YouTube limbo for so long. So now to jump to Jeffrey Epstein, just as we're starting to try to make up, it's it is what it is. I, I, I've decided you guys are the boss. You are the audience. I got to support you. And I know you guys wanted this. So Lisa, my goodness. Thank you so much, Lisa S. And thanks to everybody. You might want to check your pay, pal. I'm uh, dead. I'm, I'm, it's all going crazy right now because Steph, yeah. your, your monologue just made everyone realize, okay, you guys are stepping up. So thank you. Keep you it coming. You need to step up. Um, because liking, the, the, liking this video is going to beat has, the algorithm and going to beat the establishment. <laughs> YouTube has literally just been like, hey, Andy, you're, you're enjoying some success. <laughs> bam. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> bam. <laughs> bam. Bam. So I've been like, uh-uh, we got to keep ca crawling ourselves back up. And so I'm like, I'm going to try. You know what? Fuck YouTube. Let's make it even harder, Steph. <laughs> Steph's like, yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But hey, we got to like, do what's oh, right. shit. <laughs> you got to do what's right. Um, uh, all right. So here we go. Um, let's see here. Uh, I see a lot. And there's a lot of angry people in the chat. I'm trying to see some of it. People screaming at me. People preaching me. Whatever. I'm going to focus on what we have here. Um, but mm. yes, the reality is what what is absolutely truth is. And, and, and again, there's so many other examples of it. This is terrifying, Steph. Like, this is terrifying. Like, I, and I don't know. I wish, again, there could be more to this. There could be more in that. Um, I don't know. Hold on. Where did you go? I'm putting you. I lost you for a second. I don't know if they, oh, said, if they said one thing wrong. Like, it could have been the justification as to why. However, mm -hmm. then tell us. Show us. Because right now, all I can see here is something's up and they're suppressing the truth and they don't want freedom of speech. And it, it just makes look Twitter look so stupid. So I don't know what's going on. So I, I hopefully, if the channel goes off tomorrow or tonight, you'll know why. <laughs> so thanks everybody <laughs> who's sending through the cash app. And, and apologies, this is the ad break. We're going to get more into it. I have a lot more to talk about. But I, I, I always take time to thank anybody who's who steps up and supports this channel directly like you guys are doing. Always gets a moment and a thank you for me. So hold on. We had a few coming through the cash app, which is always the best way. So thank you, Yasmin. Always good to see you. Thank you. Lazy Bell, thanks for the coverage. And Carrie, thank you so much for the support. You guys dropping through cash app. Incredible. That That's like the best way to go, guys. If you have cash app, in fact, all of the links are in there as we wrap up this ad break. Don't forget... Uh, cash app. It's on my link tree, which is pinned. And if you don't have cash app yet, I always promote them because if you sign up using my code, guess what? We both get cash. Use my code F L L X G H D. It's on the link. And when you sign up, make sure you put my code in because they're sneaky. If you put my code in, you get, I think we both make five or 10 bucks. Once you send your first five dollars, you have to send five dollars, but then they'll pay you the money and then you can uh, pay us both. So thanks to everybody who's been donating that way uh, again, because in order to support uh, incredibly important. Thank you, buddy. Um, OK, back to it. So thank you, Steph, for reminding everybody sort of what's at stake here, uh, because it's it's pretty terrifying when we potentially yeah. lose our, our thing. And then really quick, Emma Rose, thank you so much. Steph, your hair looks great. Uh, also, thank you, Andy. Yeah, Steph's looking great. Hair looks great today. Dude, this is can't be bothered hair. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh and we all like it, so there you go. Thanks, you guys. I tell Johnny that all the time. I'm like, dude, it looks good. Looks. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> uh, Paul and Anna Sutton, thank you so much. Judy Fisher, thank you so much. Freebird, keep shining, all love. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Yvonne Demont, uh, almost through it all, and then I'll get back to the story. Uh, we'll have again chapters. Hopefully, we'll uh, skip these portions if you don't want to watch this part. VC, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Andy. Super grateful for you in this channel. Kimberly Valley, thank you so much. Rob, sue me. Wow, thank you, sue me. Ar Ari Savara became a member. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you. And Mackenzie, uh, thank you always for speaking from your heart and always giving us all the information you can. Everyone, please like and share the stream. Facts, thank you, Mackenzie. And then Uncovering Hypocrisy just said, can we also discuss Dr. Elizabeth Loftus, who testified for Weinstein and will also be for Ghislaine? Who does that? Hope she doesn't have daughters. Can we look up Dr. Elizabeth Loftus? Uh, Gene or anybody in the chat or anybody wants to gather me information on that uh, uh, in the headline group? How, or someone wants to send me a link? Uh, happy to look into that because I didn't know that. I've never heard the person. And that's, yeah, I was talking about stuff, how bad it is to be the lawyer asked to like go against these women and basically slut shame them. But yeah, the doctor who has to come forward and testify on behalf for Weinstein and now Ghislaine, that's, damn, that's, 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 
I'd love to learn more of who's behind that. Uh, so thank you on covering hypocrisy. We'll check that out. Mary Rab- Rabiley, thank you. And then Stacy Cotty got my money on my card today so I can support a little more today. Oh, Stacy, we love you and your support. But thank you just for being here. Smash the like button like she said, like Steph said. I've got words. And Miss Pumba, Joey Lilly, Marzi Panna, and then Brooke Dyer. I think we're all caught up. Thank you, everybody. And then Emma Rose, I don't know if I got you earlier. Uh, oh, I did. Nicole Rico, Andy, did you take a water and standing break yet? I have, but I, I started early, later, so I'm good right now, but we'll stand soon. Thank you for reminding me. Everybody, stretch if you can. Don't sit all day. It's not good for you. And then K Bragg, you've been a member for three months. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't. I can't. It's a little photo. I can't. If if you're not a dude, my apologies. But thank you, K Bragg. Uh, it was a it was a very small picture. Keep supporting independent content creators. I donated through Stream Elements. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support, K Bragg. Go planet, and thank you so much for everything. All right. Uh, that was an amazing ad break. You guys have funded this. Let's keep moving. Let's get deeper into the Epstein tunnel. Uh, and then Brooke also went through the Cash App. Thank you so much. I think I've covered uh, everybody. Pamela, I think, just also did it through PayPal directly. Some people are doing a PayPal directly. If you do it that way, uh, sorry if I don't Even see better. it. On the, thank you. I just I may not m- get the alert as quick, but thank you to Pamela and everybody else. Sometimes I got to be careful. I don't want to say they're wrong. Their names on the pay- PayPal shows me your real names, so I'm always mm-hmm. very careful of reading those out loud because I don't want to do something I'm not supposed to say. Jess, f the machine. F the machine. You do you, Andy. You do you, Andy. <laughs> I like love it. you and Steph. I love when the British robot says F the machine because it sounds like a machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's going and F in itself. Wait, yes! Well, can the machine F itself? I don't even know. Is that possible? <clears throat> Why not? Eh, why not? Wait, hold on. I was trying to get Jess's... My logic I is to undeniable. Hear <laughs> F the machine. What? You do you, Andy. There it is. I Love tr- you and Steph. I was trying to see if it would repeat. Uh, carry on the good work, Andy, and watching on iPad in the hospital. Sharon. I hope everything's okay, Sharon, but thank you for watching. Aww. Hopefully we're distracting you well. And then Zach, uh, they are censoring comments so badly on channels that cover Maxwell. They aren't deleting it. They are hiding the comments. F so the that machine. Only- <laughs> you do you, Andy. <laughs> Love you and Steph. Uh, they are censoring comments. They aren't even deleting it. They are hiding the comments so that only the poster can see it. But if you look at the comment count, it's high. Dude, Zach, there is some shady stuff. So as we've now, put, we've kind of done a couple videos, but I've been very careful in what I talk about in those videos. So we've sort of snuck through. But the second one definitely got suppressed. Steph's yeah. going to test. Like, there yeah. was no way, given the timing and the breaking of it and everything yeah. else, and Christopher was on it, there was no way that that video performed the way it did without some sort of suppression. Sorry. Not, not, not possible. So, yeah, we, it, yeah, we got, we got effed on that one. The machine definitely effed us on that one. <laughs> they do it, yeah. Um, and then Lori, I joined this morning. Finally, keep up the good work, Andy. You are so appreciated. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. Thank you for supporting Popcorn Planet by hitting join, becoming a member. Uh, more perks are coming. All right. So I, I, thank you. I, I, I'm just blown away by the generosity. And I always take time to make sure I thank you guys for the support. Uh, all right. But let's get to the remaining. Uh, there's a lot more information to get through in this case. And we may even take some calls at the second half of the show to get people who, who want to chime in um, to let us know. All right. So finishing this story. Again, I, I went off on, on a scorched earth because I can't stand reading how they're all just sort of trying to like slut shame and sh- just any shaming of these clearly victimized children. Uh, and then even she's like, well, yeah, I took marijuana, cocaine, anything that could block out the appointment with Epstein. Like, so it's like it all to me, it's like I don't even understand why we're asking why they're drug addicts or strippers now. It has no relevancy. But they're trying to set up this sort of, you know, shaming of like, oh, well, you guys are sluts or drug addicts. So therefore, you must be lying. Right, Steph? It's, it's sickening how these sort of what this background is. Um, in addition to Caroline and Kate, the court. Uh, oh, wait. So incidents occurred. So she stopped spending time with Maxwell. She said that she still takes methadone and Xanax for anxiety. And she sometimes hears voices that someone will take her child away. Jesus Christ. That's the kind of shit these people are dealing with. In addition, the court has heard testimony from a woman named Jane who has said that she was 14 when Maxwell taught her how to sexually satisfy Epstein and that she trafficked uh, her to other powerful men. 
Maxwell, prosecutors have said, played a key role in par- procuring girls and young women for Epstein, a multimillionaire financer who was close to Ohio billionaire Leslie Waxner, buddies with Donald Trump and Britain's Prince Andrew, and friendly with other bold-faced names like former President Bill Clinton. It's very weird how they always say, like, buddies with, and then they always put him at the very end because they can't really seem to... They don't want to, like, put Clinton on full blast, but they're totally fine calling out the other ones. But the reality is, from everything I've seen... To me, the one who has the most questions that deserve to be answered is Bill Clinton. So I'm going to continue to put the pressure on Bill Clinton because, sorry, Bill Clinton had had his hands everywhere, <laughs> given his past <laughs> and given the time that this happened. Like, you know, not a good look, Bill. Not a good look, Bill. Uh, and, and he's just gotten away with everything his whole life. But uh, I, I think it's time for some accountability on Bill Clinton, no matter whether you liked him as a president or not. Wrong is wrong. Uh, there are no allegations of trafficking against Clinton, Trump, and Waxner. Uh, Giffer has, has uh, alleged in a civil suit that Maxwell trafficked her to Andrew, Prince Andrew, son of Queen Elizabeth II, when she was 17. He has denied the allegations. Trials being held in Southern District, New York, where prosecutors could wrap up their case as early as Thursday, sources said, uh, which is uh, today, right? No, tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow. District Attorney uh, Judge Nathan said she will schedule a charging conference for December 18th, which means the jury could get the case uh, before Christmas. So that, that we, now we have more. Here, here's more sort of from what was said. My soul was broken because of Ghislaine, um, a woman whose acu- accusations underlie the criminal sex trafficking, testified yesterday that she felt broken after the British socialite fondled her around the time she was giving nude massages to Jeffrey at 14. The woman identified as Carolyn said Maxwell would sometimes call her to schedule massages with the financer. When Epstein would touch her breasts and buttocks, he would then masturbate until he finished. Uh, I was fully nude and she came in and she felt my boobs and my hips and my buttocks and said I had a great body for Epstein and his friends. Oh, this is fucking gross. Carolyn, who chose not to reveal her last name, told jurors in Manhattan Federal Court. Carolyn, now in her mid-30s, testified that when she was 14, she had told Max- Maxwell her age at Epstein's estate in Palm Beach, Florida. Carolyn is as the third woman to have testified that she was abused by Epstein at Maxwell's trial, which appears to be going faster than expected. Both sides have projected the trial would last into mid-January, but prosecutor Allison told the judge that she thinks she can finish by Thursday. Why are we, why are we not uh, go? Why are we taking our time? It's fucking, why are we rushing, rather? Why, 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 and also, why didn't they bring in more victims? I asked Christopher Melcher, our attorney on the show, and Steph, his answer was, well, he suspects that they're not getting distracted by the big names and some of these other people because they want to make sure they have four of the most easiest ones to get her on, is what his suspicion is. Keep it simple. You can always add more later. And if you get her on the most easiest four connected to Ghislaine, etc., and lock those in, you'll have potentially much easier time tacking on the other ones later on is what his, when he said that, I was like, oh, maybe, but what do you think about this? Cause there's so many other people out there that they could have brought <coughs> in. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Oh. Yeah. So I respect Christopher Melcher. Don't get me wrong. You know, technically of course he's going to be correct on that. Of course. However, um, I've got my tinfold hat. How- on on this one and i'm thinking that at the end of the day they are not going to go after anyone else they're not they simply can't uh it will be another freaking universe another freaking reality where we see bill clinton on the freaking stand having to take account for his alleged crimes of course uh that linked to this whole epstein disgusting situation it'll be another reality if we ever saw donald trump in that same position or anyone else that's alleged um uh in in this disgusting icky evil you know kind of situation um Ghislaine maxwell is the easiest one to get to and to prosecute and i think they're just going to leave it there because the others are way too powerful uh that the prosecution and the courts will never be able to touch so even though of course how can i argue <laughs> yeah christopher melcher's of course right from a legal stance he's the freaking legal eagle he, he's the expert on that i ain't gonna question that reality i don't think that's gonna happen at all unfortunately unfortunately it's not gonna happen at all uh and just putting these names into the hat into the ring will just create a circus that 
will take the eye off the ball for the prosecution to actually go after Ghislaine. Um, it had muddy the waters. So, yeah, that's just my stream of consciousness for all that. Enjoy, people. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a possible a possibility. That that makes sense, too. Uh, let's see. So, um, it's unclear how long defense may last. Uh, the trial has been going for seven days so far. Maxwell's pleaded not guilty. Um, lawyers from Maxwell have said her accusers' memories have been corrupted over time. Uh, I'm sure that shit's seared in there forever. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know if I buy that mm. either. They also said she is being scapegoated for Epstein's alleged crimes after Epstein killed himself in 2019. Um, so, you are, so it's interesting. Does that mean she's admitting that Epstein did it? Because that's very telling. You know what I mean? It's interesting. I wonder if that's well. Look, you well, just teased the crimes. It's, it's I'm already not. being done for it years ago. He's, 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 he's already been found guilty years ago of um, underage girls, not even underage, it's literally girls, children, being the most disgusting, evil monster that you can be towards girls. He's, he's already been done for it years ago. Um, did, did, didn't you? Sorry, did you know about that? Sorry, you... I don't know if you're looking at me stupid or... No, no, no. I was, re I was looking for something else. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. right. No, you're, Fair enough. No, you're, Sorry. you're right on. You're right on. Sorry. <laughs> no. Yeah. That, that, that's why they can, you know, say about Epstein with certainty that he was an evil monster because he was done for that years and years and years ago. Um, but it was pretty much the... Um, the punishment was basically a slap on the wrist. Like, dude got away with it. That evil, disgusting bastard of a dude, a uh, despicable human being, evil bastard, got away with it. Um, so, yeah, it just, it, yeah, it, it, it makes my skin crawl, all of this. And admittedly, it's, I mean, it is what it is, don't get me wrong. It's slightly a bit triggering for me, some of these kind of testimony and, and, and what these victims are saying. Um, I can kind of relate to a little bit of it. It's so eerie. It really is eerie, some of the stuff that they're saying. And it's just like, shit in hell. Yeah, and if it's too um, much, maybe that's just my don't... bias, but I believe them. And if at any point this is getting too uh, hot for you, obviously d just just dip on out. And I will, oh yeah, I'll I will duck get out. Don't worry. No, but, don't worry uh, about that, mate. Because uh, I realize I don't want to like. I know some of this is getting intense. Uh, so all right, but uh, let's let's just get through some of this. Um, Maxwell's uh, lawyer cross-examined Carolyn about possible inconsistencies. Her 2007 FBI interview and her 2009 interview. That's all they have is sort of jump on inconsistencies. Carolyn said Maxwell was not a topic of conversation during her conversations with my law with law enforcement. The only thing Miss Maxwell was involved in was finally my breast and my buttocks. And for that, my soul is broken and so is my heart. Ooh, yeah, you tell her, girl. Uh, she asked Carolyn if there was an incentive for you to stick up, stick to your story. After she reached a 3.25 million settlement with with a fund to compensate Epstein's victims, when she mentioned Maxwell and her claim, money will not ever fix what the, that woman has done to me," she said, sobbing. One juror shook her head as Pacelli requested a question, Carolina, how fast she spent settlement money from her 2009 lawsuit. Jesus, fuck! <laughs> how fucking sick is that? How fast did you spend your settlement money? Uh, and the jury, and the jury even was like shook her head. I was too young. Jurors had previously heard from two women who said Maxwell set them up for sexual encounters with Epstein when they were teenagers. The women, known by pseudonyms Jane and Kate, testified that they had been aspiring entertainers and that Maxwell had told them Epstein could help advance their careers. Caroline's background was different. She testified that her mother was a drug user and alcoholic, and her grandfather sexually abused her when she was four. Caroline also said she became a cocaine addict and dropped out of school in the seventh grade. Caroline said she was introduced to Epstein in 2002 by Virginia, one of Epstein's most prominent accusers, who asked her if I wanted to go make some money. She said she helped her massage Epstein for 45 minutes and then watched Epstein have sex with her. Caroline said three $100 bills were left for her on a bathroom sink. Uh, she said in civil lawsuits that Epstein and Maxwell trafficked her while she was a teenager. She is not expected to testify in the criminal trial, which is I just don't understand that one. Uh, prosecutors on Tuesday said they showed jurors photographs depicting what they called Epstein's intimate relationship with Maxwell, including Maxwell massaging his foot while it was pressed against 
her chest. We have that photo right here um, that they were in more of a romantic relationship, which I guess she's sort of trying to downplay. Uh, so that's uh, that's where we where we stand on this so far in this new, new uh, these these accusers that came in today. Now I, I want to share one more thing, and I want to get to some of your calls, and I want to get some more information. But there's one person I've been following. And I, if you've been following the Britney case, House and Habit, Jessica is her name. She's a reporter. She does some really interesting breakdowns, and she also has been in the courtroom. So I wanted to go through some of her stories breaking this down, but all credits goes into House and Habit on Instagram. Definitely give her a follow. She does some really good deep dives into things in the sort of a format that she does. Uh, so go support that. Um, and... Uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, all right, sorry. Um, cause I got, I've got this other thing I wanted to mention. I, cause, and Jade sent it to me cause I've been asking for experts and Jade in our community texted me, uh, Maxwell recruit these, uh, she's apparently versed in this case. And if anybody's versed wants to give a call and let me know, I'll give you a link. Cause I want to make sure I have some other people who know more who can chime in from time to time. Uh, let people know girls Maxwell was recruiting wouldn't tell them to bring would tell them to bring their friends who needed money and that's how hundreds of young 8th graders and ninth graders from multiple schools got involved parents found out and reported it and the police did little to nothing Epstein funded the police department so they essentially ignored it all fuck that's sickening 8th and ninth graders yeah. they were funding it from the schools and then they're funding the, the police so they could sort of oh, it, never mind nothing happened there while these kids are being asked, want to make some money? And then I guess they're just sort of bringing them in, Steph, to see who's, who's yeah. vulnerable, who's going to fall for this, who's, who's, who's going to perfectly fit into what we need and we can use and abuse. Uh, and yep. then they sort of forgot about it and moved on. That is fucking sickening. So thank you for sharing that, Jade. I'm going to send you the link if you want to be on in the background. Uh, I see other people echoing that that's correct um, here. Uh invite copy link there it is um if you guys aren't following us on telegram it's the best way to reach us all um again mm. while we plugged earlier the cash app another way so thanks to everybody who's been doing donations and supporting uh it's another way to reach us so if we ever do get pulled off of the platform <laughs> we can still get a hold of you so on the link tree link which has all of our links go on over and press on the chat with us on telegram you can then download telegram on your de desktop or your mobile app or whatever device you use sign up make sure you hide your phone number in the settings before you sort of get going and then you can respond and you can find us you can interact with us and chat and dm and share links uh, we have some other groups that we're creating to sort of get involved in the channel but if you want to get involved that's the best way to sort of send a link so our team can grab it and i can put it on air right away uh, or message us or etc so join us on the telegram link if you want to be a part of this community and uh, become part of the room uh, and everything else on there we also have a big merch share sale uh, thanks to brian over at no sismus uh, there's a uh, 12 days of christmas i think there's a free shipping day or something today there's a lot of stuff happening in the next few days, including we have a new one. Make it make sense. It was another low. He made, I was like, Oh, I love hey. that. Put it in there. Cause nothing makes sense. And I'm going to start using that to get back up to keep going as well as all the popcorn planet and our logos, free Britney, et cetera, et cetera, stickers, hoodies, and more coming on uh, the neck gator. So uh, the next few days are going to be a lot of good deals. So if you want to support over there, you can. So thanks everybody. And Sue K just became a member. Oh, Thank you for supporting us doing the tough news. Uh, I appreciate you. All right, so let's go through um, our stories here uh, of with House and Habit, who gives a breakdown, because she was reporting from afar, but this week she stepped up and she flew out and she got in the courtroom, and I wanted to go through some of these things. Um, so uh, this was a, this is pretty... Save time. Ghislaine Maxwell just lists the Hollywood celebrities and politicians who didn't visit the Epstein Island. That's a parody site, but it, that probably at this point would be easier, wouldn't it? It totally yeah. could. Um... All right, let's see here. Getting to the reports. She always finds a lot of crazy pictures. All right, here we go. Starting with the drama. Oh, wait, hold on. We have Jade on the phone as well. Adding her. Uh, Jade, are you there? She's connecting to audio. Uh, she's connecting audio. Um, court begins with straight drama. Legal discussions open in the morning, covering an array of topics. Whatever issues attorneys on both sides wish to address. The briefing sans jurors and tells details that are not passed to the public unless it's from someone like me sitting there hearing it firsthand. Um, here's the notes. A word. Uh, yeah, so the topic this morning circles back to Jane, 
the first victim to testify under a pseudonym that uh, unidentified actress who met with Jeffrey and Ghislaine when she was 14 at summer camp program. The different defense has cover, discovered that Jane's younger brother, Brian, also an impending witness, admitted that he received a phone call from his sister over the weekend, recapping her experience on the witness stand, warning him of a specific document involved and allegedly referring, referred to Ghislaine's attorney, Bobby Sturth, Sturheim, as a word that rhymes with front. I can only imagine it's a see you next Tuesday reference. Yep. The defense claims that subject Jane is trying to compromise the witness, her brother, Prosecution tries to dismiss the incident as flippant conversation between two siblings. After hearing both sides, the judge asks why it was relevant to include the detail about the four-letter insult aimed at Bobby, which doesn't really get a clear answer. So nobody noticeably uh, or seemed to notice uh, the brother uh, or seemed to notice uh, the brother in the, lead in the least. The decided solution is to figure out exactly what transpired in that conversation before deciding to nix Jane's brother as a witness. Uh, all right. So I'm just giving you all this information. Here's more photos of her in action. Um, a tall, slim, sliking presence as Ghislaine enters the courtroom, even with half of her face swallowed by a mask. Sharp features, a plain black turtleneck, tight black pants, dark wavy bob, perfectly manicured nails. She is noticeably jovial, lively and engaged with her team as they greet her. Two minutes in the first thing I notice is how affectionate she is with her attorneys. I see many embraces, arm squeezes, bright smiles, and more than a couple lingering embraces between her Bobby, they hug and talk and hug and talk. The handsy demeanor has me previously noted in articles detailing case, but in person, it's even more abundant. At one point, I see her involved in an animated conversation with a young woman in her early 20s wearing a slick ponytail, who I guess to be an assistant of some kind. She locks eyes with the girl, and I watch as she leans her whole body over to desk. The young woman seems to enchant with her with, with her as Ghislaine is speaking, smiling, attention glued. I notice a slight gleam in her eyes and recall in a quick flash that I'm witnessing the much-noted magnificent appeal of good time Ghislaine in action. She wraps up the conversation, tossing one of her thick black hair to the other side and settles into her seat, where Stern will find her for one last embrace before the court resumes. Ugh, really getting details here. Later in the morning, the court dissolves for a quick break. I stay to catch up on notes. At that point, it's just a handful of us in this space together. I stand up to stretch my back and glance towards the front of the room, towards Ghislaine, where they make brief eye, where we make brief eye contact. She scans me swiftly as I see her dark eyes slant, showing evidence of slight smile behind the black mask. She pushes the hair from her cheek. As I freeze up, I shift my glance partly because she's somehow charming without any words. The way, the way I imagine a wealthy, practitioned Oxford dame might be, but mostly because I can't believe I'm in an empty room 30 feet from a woman I've read and wondered about for over a decade now. Uh, and so here's the images as they were going through them. I'm seated four seats behind Ghislaine's brother and sister, her sister wearing her signature beret, uh, pale blank pink this time, her brother pepper haired, quite handsome in a dark suit. They sit close to each other, leaning to shoulder to shoulder, whisper to each other, and to G before the hearing shakes shape. They are joined by a, st a stout blonde woman who I learn later is a family friend who is also an attorney, not hired in the case, allowing her legal permission to cross the barrier to where the case attorneys reside and pass messages to Ghislaine from her, her siblings, a legal loophole for convenient communication. Interesting. I didn't know that that was a legal le a loophole. So that way they can get back and forth information. Ghislaine's sister takes as many notes as us. And when something seems to strike Ghislaine, she grabs her lawyers and pulls them close, whispering with dramatic hand gestures while witnesses are on the stand. Tuesday opens with a collection of photo archives, evidence uncovered by the FBI during the 2005 home raid. The prosecutor uh, unveils a series of personal photos showing J and G looking every bit the waspy photogenic lovers we've become so familiar with. In the images, we see Jeffrey, or sorry, Ghislaine splayed out in a bikini, or Ghislaine in a bikini, sunbathing on the edge of a yacht, the two kissing, the backdrop exotic adobe walls, uh, windswept cram smiling on a motorcycle, glossy-eyed, dressed to the nines at a society dinner party, and the country looking effortlessly rich and rugged, like a Ralph Lauren ad, a him in thick blue flannel, uh, tan smirking her with blazers. The last few are images taken midair in a private jet showing Ghislaine rubbing Jeffrey's feet with her blouse unbuttoned. Those are the photos we saw. Bra exposed, cleavage spilling out with every frame. His heel is pushed further into her chest as she grins suggestively into the camera. An anonymous male companion off frame looks amused. There's Those are the photos we were we were talking about as she's... Uh, I mean, she's in a... What is that? A top thing? Anyway. But yeah, very weird. Definitely getting that more more excited uh 
Help wanted. Are you a massage service? Excellent pay. Weekends, please call. A second witness, a computer expert from FBI. They grill him on the um, logistics dissecting a hard drive. Uh, they grill him on the logistics of dissecting a hard drive, which eventually leads to the reveal of several emails linked to Ghislaine that scold a maintenance worker for leaving the massage room a mess, plus inquiry into an evolved hospitality manual. Last, we see an ad for a home masseuse for a Palm Beach residence needed mostly on the weekends with the lure of excellent pay. Do you want to make some money? Uh, the third victim is called to testify. Caroline, a woman about my age who grew up in New York, then moved to Florida. Her family members, a young couple, take the seat next to me when she is called to the stand. Unlike the other perfectly polished women we've seen, actresses and models, Caroline is rough around the edges. Her backstory, dark. She describes a poor upbringing with a neglectful drug addict mother, molested as a child and raped by her grandfather when she was four. She says she lived in a house with no rules. By 14, she befriends Virginia, the young blonde we see smiling with Prince Andrew. Uh, with Ghislaine peeking out in the background, a connection he would later try and fail uh, to deny on national television. Prince Andrew, completely guilty, so caught, it's disgusting. Caroline walks us through his introduction to Epstein, uh, beginning with Virginia asking if she wants to make some money by giving messages, massages to her friends. Caroline agrees immediately in the two drive over to e uh, Epstein's that same day. Um, Caroline describes the first encounter, how they encounter, enter the Palm Beach mansion through the kitchen and are greeted by an older woman with black shoulder length hair and an accent who is friendly and shows them to a staircase where Virginia leads her to a master bathroom and pulls out a massage table. Uh, Epstein is there brushing his teeth. V tells Caroline that he prefers them nude when they massage, but Caroline rejects the offer. She then watches Virginia massage Epstein. Then the two have sex in front of her as she sits on a polka dotted couch in the bathroom where she's two stacks of 300 bills are left on the sink for both girls. What's really disturbing here, again, this is all, you know, allegedly this is what's happening, but there's like a clear like pushing of the boundaries. So it's like they bring these girls in who are young and then pay them really well and sort of like have sex in front of them to see are they going to come back? Are they sort of cool? They're like clearly like trying to see which of these girls are going to be okay moving to the next step and getting more involved, et cetera, et cetera, exposing them to all this, you know, debauchery and disgustingness. And these are kids, let's remember. Uh, and then sort of seeing, will they come back? Because that way they know, okay, they're going to keep the secret. They're down. They know what we do here. There's a lot of just like checking that I'm as, as these, as we're getting more details from the actual people who are there, it, it's quite sickening. And then, so Jade, sorry, are you here? Is your audio on now? Yeah, it is. Does you, so you've been following this case, you keep telling me. I mean, so does this does this testimony surprise you at all? No, not at all. Not at all. And, like, so I guess, like, the whole thing with this case, um, what pisses me off is, I guess it doesn't piss me off, but it just bothers me that so many people don't realize how many young girls were involved with this. The fact that they would recruit, how like how I was saying, they would recruit them, um, you know, go tell your friends at school. You know, uh, they would say, okay, bring one friend or bring two friends. And then they'd come back with said friends and then those friends would pass it on. And that's how it, you know, the word got spread and other schools, other girls started getting involved. And that it's just, it blows my mind. Uh, it did, but it really ups makes me angry. It's a, uh, yeah. All right. So let's keep moving. Uh, chime in if either of you have comments. Uh, it's a few more to go throughs, but I think this is a valuable insight to sort of hear what's happening in the courtroom. So again, plug to house and habit on Instagram. She's in the courtroom sort of giving her take and she's been very vocal and, and covering this case pretty well up until then. So let's keep, let's hear what she has to say. Uh, when a photo of Epstein is shown to the court, she cries softly, then talks about how she became a regular at E's house, Epstein's house, describing in graphic detail, the things she he expected from the rotation of teenage girls and their massage appointments when refused sex with him uh, when refused sex with him so he would have intercourse with other girls while directing her to engage with a third she says Ghislaine saw her naked at least 30 times and on one occasion came into the bathroom and fondled her breast telling her she had a great shape for Jeffrey and his friends Lingerie, money, and concert tickets would later arrive as gifts. When asked how many times she visited the Epstein house, she estimated 100. 
watching Caroline in the stand describe these horrific experiences in great detail with Ghislaine and the two and two of her siblings present rattles my brain. I catch Ghislaine's eyes scanning the clock behind us twice while the witness is talking, then return a cold glaze back to the stand where she nudges her lawyer occasionally to whisper into his ear. Caroline goes on to, the, to frame a teenhood riddled by grim circumstances and, addiction, and addi addictions. She says she worked for Epstein from, the, from 14 to 18 after having a child with her boyfriend at 16 and moving to Georgia, she came back to Florida. But by the time she was 18, she says she was too old for Epstein. He asked me if I had any younger friends and I knew then I was too old for him. The cross-examination is painful to witness. Caroline is emotional, angry, and having a hard time following the questions. She snaps at the defense lawyer and scoffs at the questions raised. She asks for the questions to be repeated multiple times and has a difficult time following the prompt they refer to in a binder she's given. She breaks off from one topic to say that she lives in a constant state of paranoia because of what she's been through. Terrified her own daughters will be trafficked or kidnapped. She breaks down crying. When, is when the issue of her 2007 FBI testimony is raised, she starts to shut down. She claims Epstein penetrated her twice, but she stopped him, and that Ghislaine was the one who made the calls to set up the massage appointments. But in the old FBI interview, G's name is not brought up once in 200 papers, and she testified that E never engaged in sexual intercourse of any kind. Detailed statements the defense reads aloud. They then turn the focus um, to... Andy. Go ahead. <clears throat> Um, you, you you asked us to interject when, okay, so the defense here um, are motherfucking bastards because <clears throat> it is absolutely common, right? Because to be fair, it's happened to me, right? Where a true victim, not one that's a lying piece of shit, a true victim of sexual abuse will start off by... Uh, being able to say something right but they don't say it all in one go it's 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 a process it takes time for them for us <laughs> uh to, to to be able to fully be able to explain what happened and it's a process so for them to turn around and say well you know you didn't mention her then but you're mentioning her now Fuck you, you pieces of defense, bollocks, shit people, okay? It is a common thing for true victims of sexual abuse to be able to, to, to firstly have the courage to speak out, but secondly, they don't speak out on everything straight away. It's something that's gradual. It's something that's gradual and that's it. So, yeah, I, I, I just wanted to make a point of that. Yeah, well said, because, I mean, they're, they're, again, I want to cover the sides, and again, this is what the court's for, and these are the allegations, but there's so much evidence, so many people, like, I, I wasn't there, I don't know, but did Jeffrey do these things? I do totally believe he was doing these things. Um, could they be trying to connect Ghislaine more? That's the question, right? That's what this whole trial is about, and what the prosecution has to prove is related. So, anyway, getting to this point, they're trying to say that in the 2007 interview, she never mentioned Ghislaine or intercourse, and now she's changing her story is why that, where that's coming from. They turn the focus to filling... Um, uh, hold on, do I make sure I didn't... Uh, Again, the details could have changed. It doesn't mean it's not true, uh, but that's that's what was had. They turned. They then turned to focus to her filing for the Epstein Victims Fund, which rewarded her 2.3 million and later 450k. Noting that the terms were strict, should she be caught lying about any of the statements given, the money would be taken back. Was the incentive to tell the truth? What was the incentive? Was that the incentive to tell the truth back then? The defense asks. She loses it. No amount of money will ever make up for what that woman did to me, she says, bursting into tears. The defense goes harder, highlighting all of the noted discrepancies paragraph by paragraph. They flip the story and recount every aspect that linked her to Epstein, which didn't include Ghislaine. Caroline finally wraps up her testimony and leaves the room in a fury full of boiling disgust. The couple sitting next to me run out after her. G eyes the clock. Ugh, Jesus Christ, she's so just... <laughs> It's sickening, the sinisterness of this woman. And I dare imagine the nature of thoughts cutting through her head. A woman who boasts... Uh, sorry, hold on. Let me pause it again. 
Uh, a woman who boasts of growing up alongside the world's flashiest intellectuals, unmatched elite scientists, royal parties, and politicians, watching the rough edges of a pained and broken woman with a seventh grade education, trying to unravel everything she now has hanging by a thread. <laughs> it's a really well descriptive way to put it. Uh, oh. Ghislaine, uh, massage room, nude photos and diamonds shown in FBI images. FBI found boxes of CDs and nude photos of girls and women, including two of accused the British socialite of serving them up to disgrace financier when they were teenagers. Um, so more images as they went through. Investigators uncovered numerous black binders containing CDs, which were clearly labeled with thumbnail photos at the seventh story Manhattan property. So-called massage room inside the seventh story property. Uh, Ghislaine, uh, G G how, how do we say the name? I uh, uh, Ghislaine. 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 Thank you. I just, it's Ghislaine. 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 Uh, we've we've argued that a lot. Some people make fun of me. Just get the hell out of here. I've I've made it very clear at the beginning of the show. I'm still learning this case, uh, but it's important that we all fucking cover it. So stop complaining. Uh, they want you to cover get it. Those you cover likes it wrong, up, guys. It's like Jesus. Do you want people to cover it at all or not? Just shut up, idiots. I I I I, I, I don't I don't have time for this nonsense. Uh, Galen says she gave Epstein sexualized massage while wearing schoolgirl's office, says woman. Uh, she, and she said, I thought it would be good for you and to take Jeffrey, his tea, and the, in these clothes. I didn't know how to say no, Kate said. She told me I was such a good girl and that I was one of his favorites. Kate said she continued to see Epstein until her 30s and that she was fearful of disengaging because of how well-connected he and Miss Maxwell were. Uh, she seemed to know everybody, and she told me she was friends with Prince Andrew, friends with Donald Trump, friends with lots of famous people, and the names would sometimes just come up. Just to kind of add on to that, Andy, if you don't mind, um, one of the ways that you can make sure that, you know, this story gets out to even more people, because I can guarantee you, uh, YouTube, the establishment, does not want this story out. It's just proving it. So many of you didn't know in the first place until you came to this stream. Make sure it's the most important thing ever for me to ask you this. Please like this video, share and subscribe. By doing that, it helps the algorithm in YouTube to actually force it to share this video so that other people like yourselves that didn't know about this case in the first place, that didn't know what the hell was going on, it can reach other people that was in the same boat so they can be educated and they can know what's going on with the elites and what they're those evil elitist people are doing to our children, to our kids on this earth. Um, so yeah, more important than ever to like this one, guys. Well said, I'm and concerned. I'm using that because I'm going to use this portion as a clip. I trimmed some of this video. There's going to be a longer one, but I want to make sure there's at least something a little bit more substantial. So I am clipping this a bit. It's still a very long video, but if you missed the whole thing, I'll have the full uncensored piece for our members only, but you got pretty much the whole gist of this too. Uh, we're going to take some calls and hang out for a little bit longer, but I just didn't want it to be a three hour thing. I was trying to make it more of a hour and a half long thing. So uh, pardon the minor clip, but you heard the gist. Uh, please like left, like Steph, Stefania said, like share support when you can, you can always hit the join button. The link tree links in our description has a lot of ways you can support. So thank you guys so much for watching here. If you're watching live, don't go anywhere. We're going to take your calls. We're going to get a little bit deeper into this. And if you want to watch the full uncensored replays all the time, become a member. Hit the members only playlist on Popcorn Planet.